What's going on everybody? So today's video is going to be coming to you from a brand that I know that I'm going to be butchering the name, but I have mentioned this fragrance in a few of my top 5s or top 10s, but Trastari Rifle So. I only started getting into this brand because of Chris from Scentland. Chris said that after the owner died in 1999, I believe it was, and then his son died in 2003, that the house started going down, you know, that the quality and that the artistry, if you will, really wasn't really all there. But from what I've smelled, I actually kind of liked, but thanks to Chris for actually introducing this house to me. But this fragrance was actually launched in 2017. It's classed as an oriental woody. So the top notes of this fragrance are bergamot, pink pepper, and green apple, with the mean being geranium, violet leaves, and lavender, and the base is leather, vetiver, and tonka bean. So what I get out of this scent is that I certainly get a lot of tonka bean, but probably more so a very crisp and fresh green apple accord. There's certainly a lot of lavender with this one, along with a little bit of the leather. The leather is more so in the background. It's not exactly a heavy leather fragrance to my nose, but certainly a lot of green apple, lavender, and tonka bean. So this fragrance comes across as aromatic, green, fresh, and fruity. This is pretty much a gentleman's type of scent, a modern day gentleman. Want to wear this one? Pretty much any time. You can wear this dressing down to something dressing up. It's a great, versatile, signature scent, worthy type of scent. Seasons, pretty much just springtime and perhaps fall. Longevity, this is where it kind of failed, but the longevity really wasn't that bad, but I thought it would be a little bit better. I got six to seven hours and projection is moderate to mild. How much will this cost you? Well, up here in Canada, this will range anywhere from 84 to $110 Canadian, but online, you can get this for about $45 to $50 USD. My wife's thoughts on this one? She likes it quite a bit. She gets a lot of green apple and a lot of lavender, but she finds this more of a mature scent, more for an older guy out there, and more of an office fragrance, if you will. And my final thoughts on this one? Well, I like it. I liked it so much that I ended up buying it retail price. I did not get it online. I get most of my fragrances online, but this very one came in a gift pack. So it came with the bottle, uh, body wash, and this deodorant, which I'm probably just gonna get give away anyways. What I really do like about this one is the, the lavender accord with the green apple. The green apple is crisp and it's very juicy. It's a very uplifting scent, if you will. It's a gentleman's fragrance. You can wear it for any occasion. It's a great signature scent worthy. If you want a fragrance that if you're a casual kind of consumer, you don't have a lot of fragrances in your collection, look into this one. The bottle itself kind of looks dated. It looks like it's going to be for an older guy, you know? But the scent itself is more of a modern gentleman's type of scent. An older guy can rock this along with a younger man as well. My final rating is going to be a 4 out of 5. This really did catch me by surprise. And thanks to Chris for introducing me to Trastari. Because of him, I started looking into some of the other ones out there. I only did one other review and that was like the, the, the Womo the Red, which is very different. But this one is de very different from that one itself. So guys, that's it for Trastari Rifle So. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell. My mouth is extremely dry right now. I'm a little bit sick, but here I am filming. So guys, I'm just going to end it here. Thank you for your time. Take care, and we'll see you later.